guidelines for genetic testing for instance for women who are diagnosed with breast cancer and who have a family history of breast cancer there are sort of recommendations to get tested if you have like for two first degree relatives with breast cancer or one at really young age and your own age is young so those guidelines for genetic testing are quite clear if, if it involves also family history but what is actually becoming more and more uh, practice is that actually the information of genetic risk is relevant for every woman regardless of a family history and the way how we have started to use this to actually inform um, screening for breast cancer because uh, logical thinking if somebody has a elevated risk you want to screen more than if somebody has a very low risk to develop breast cancer and actually nowadays we can assess that by looking into the genetic genetics of a person whether somebody has a hereditary mutation in a gene uh, as well as looking at other risk factors and combine that in a risk score so for every woman we can at a given age based on her genetic makeup and risk factors we can give her an estimate of what she has of the next five years of developing breast cancer and so that we use to actually better guide who needs every year scre screening by mammography maybe some women can every other year some women at very high risk need every six months and and in for women under age 40 actually more than two-thirds have such a low risk that actually screening doesn't give any benefit it does more harm because of false negatives and biopsies and so you can much better understand who needs what frequency of screening and at what age does somebody start screening